Today we are talking about the legendary plated dinosaur, the Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus armatus was discovered in 1877 found by Othniel Charles Marsh. Stegosaurus lived in what is now North America during the late Jurassic period which is around 148 million years ago. The Stegosaurus grew up to 26 to 30 feet long, 9 feet tall, and weighed approximately 6,800 pounds. Stegosaurus belongs to the Stegosauridae family. Some members include Stegosaurus, Myrigaea, Kentosaurus, and many more. And every Stegosauridae are herbivores, meaning they ate plants. Stegosaurus wouldn't have had many dinosaurs to consider as a threat, but there is one dinosaur that was considered a threat back then, and that is the famous Allosaurus. There has been a lot of evidence through the bones of these two species fighting each other. For example, there is an Allosaurus vertebra discovered with a puncture wound that matched the shape of a Stegosaurus thagomizer, also known as the tail spike. This is also the same case with the Stegosaurus neck bone being discovered with an Allosaurus bite mark engraved on the bone. Some of the most unique traits the Stegosaurus has are the plates that run down along the dinosaur's back and having four dermal spikes at the end of its tail. The Stegosaurus had around 17 and 22 separate plates running down the back. Over the years, there are many thoughts on how these plates were used. But the most likely answer that paleontologists have come up with is that it was a temperature regulation device. This device would have allowed the animal to use its plates to extract light from the sun to keep it warm or release stored up heat to cool it down. The alignments of these plates had also been a question for paleontologists. But new discoveries and some re-examination of the stegosaurus specimens since the 1970s suggested that the armored plates alternated along the backbone. The thagomizer of the stegosaurus is located at the end of the tail, where it consists of four dermal spikes, where each spike was around 60 to 90 centimeters long. The use of these dangerous spikes was used for defense against predators like the Allosaurus. But some other stegosaur dinosaurs like the Kentosaurus had 10 spikes rather than 4. The stegosaurus did not live in herds due to it getting crowded very easily. So instead, they either lived in small groups or lived alone. Stegosaurus lived alongside the giants like Camarasaurus and Diplodocus. But they also lived with smaller herbivores like the Camptosaurus. An interesting thing to point out is the relationship between the Camptosaurus and Stegosaurus, because not only did the Camptosaurus and Stegosaurus live alongside each other, but they also lived together in herds. Now, before I explain the reason behind that, I would like to clear something up. Because a few seconds ago, I said Stegosaurus don't live in herds, well actually they don't. But, that was implying an entire herd of Stegosaurus and Stegosaurus alone. Which would mean maybe 20 to 35 Stegosaurus living in one group. Whereas the coexisted herd of Camptosaurus and Stegosaurus would only hold around maybe 5 or 7 max, which would allow the Stegosaurus to move around more freely than being very crowded. So, hopefully that cleared up the whole Stegosaurus herd situation. But onto why these two different species work so well together in herds. You see, the documentary named Planet Dinosaur came up with a th very interesting theory explaining that Stegosaurus and Camptosaurus live together in herds. With the Stegosaurus being the muscle of the group in case of any predator attacks, and the Camptosaurus being the lookout and the brains, while the Stegosaurus ate. And this theory makes a lot of sense due to the remains of both species being found very close to one another. Also, this tactic of having two different species working together is used by our modern day species, like the water buffaloes and egrets in Africa. And that is the end of this Reviewing Dinosaurs episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, make sure to leave a like on the video as well as subscribing to the channel, which would help a lot pushing out my content um, so others can see it. Uh, also, turn on the notifications bell so you don't like miss any of the Reviewing Dinosaurs uh, series or just any of my content in general. Um, I would also like to point out that 
I didn't post on Friday and that was because I was skiing with uh, some friends and that's why I wasn't able to release the video on Friday but I it's Friday's video is out now so um, I should have had a pre video so I could have uploaded on the on Friday when I was out skiing and stuff but oh well um, we got it done anyway on Sunday which is okay but um yeah that's why I didn't uh, post on Friday so with all that done uh, again hope you enjoy the video and I cannot wait to see you all in the next video have an amazing rest of your day